by golly, if it isn't AI once again slapping us in the ass with another situation with Taylor Swift, and it has gotten very out of hand, so out of hand that the U.S. government has gotten involved with the situation. It's it's wild to see just how far AI has come in terms of, in particular, deepfakes. If you don't know what a deepfake is, it is a sexually uh, exposing image of somebody that's not real. It's either their face plastered on somebody. Normally, it has to do with like somebody's face being plastered on, on, on another person's body. So I actually never saw the, but we're going to be talking about the Taylor Swift situation. We're going to be talking about the Taylor Swift pictures that leaked. And I actually have personally never seen them Apparently on Twitter. They blew up, but during the time span that, that they blew up, I just wasn't on Twitter. So I never actually saw them. I don't know how bad they actually were. All I know is that they were, they were exposing it. it they looked like, sexual images and so the it's taken this to really prompt the u.s government or anyone really to do anything about deep fakes so now they're trying to pass a bill saying that if you are using a deep fake then you have every right to pursue the individual who made you into that deep fake you you're allowed to sue them in court and it's so now it's illegal to do that and one thing that really just caught me off guard that re that sent me kind of flying back my my head just I couldn't really comprehend it no one knew about deepfakes if when as I was reading through this I was kind of scrolling on reddit trying to you know just learn about the situation a little bit more a lot of people didn't even know deepfakes really existed which amazed me I mean if you're an adult on the internet how do you not know that deepfakes are real even if you have never really seen them you're bound to hear about them you're bound to know about them considering ai is only growing larger and larger every day like it's not slowing down you know it's not showing any sign of going anywhere problem with these ai programs and stuff is that it's available to everyone anyone that has a halfway decent computer will be able to render ai deepfake images easily without any problem it's you know anyone can do it so this technology is only going to get better. It's going to keep improving until it's basically indistingu indistinguishable from reality. Now, I don't know how they would necessarily enforce this new law because it would require them to most likely go through somebody's computer to find evidence that they had actually, in fact, made those deep fakes. Because I could just imagine somebody saying, I, was, I, I wasn't the one that made them. What are you talking about? Unless the individual making the deepfakes is a complete buffoon and decides to threaten or send the deepfakes using their personal email and really makes the FBI's job real easy. Now, of course, I don't know all the FBI's little, you know, the tricks up their sleeve, so they very well could have easy ways of figuring out if these people did this, and I just don't really know about it. But I just, it's going to be difficult to really enforce that, considering, okay, I'll give you a small little example. I got into an accident about two or three months ago um and the police didn't even come to write a police report so i just don't see them taking this kind of stuff very se seriously hey i saw my my body online naked well that sounds like a you problem ma'am is about how i would expect that interaction to go if somebody were to go to the police it's not that hard to to dodge something like that or i wouldn't think that it would be that hard so i feel like even though this is going to be a new law it's it, it's going to be extremely hard to actually enforce. The photos got so big that searching Taylor Swift's name on the platform just was blocked. You were not allowed to look up Taylor Swift in any capacity. If you looked up Taylor Swift, I think you just got a blank screen. You don't need nothing loaded just to in an attempt to curb people from looking at it, reposting it, taking screenshots of it, posting it in other areas. But overall, I mean, like it's it's out there. It's people are going to people are going to find it and it's sad to take something this big to really like have anything be done about this because some people have really their lives have been ruined. I'll I'll give you a little example. I was on reading on Reddit. This girl was talking about how she saw an AI deepfake of her and it looked almost indistinguishable from re reality. It looked almost completely real. So these kinds of things can, in the near future, really affect just average people and what I could see is let's just say, right, you have a scammer on the other side of the world. They find your your profile. They find your Instagram account, account or really any account that you have that has a picture of you on it. They can take your face 
and put it on anybody that they want to and say, hey, you don't send me this amount of money or you don't do this. We're going to send these pictures to your family, to your boss, to your to your coworkers. And I'm sure you guys can see how that could be a really big problem. It's going to get to the point to where jobs just aren't even going to be able to trust anything they receive in, in mail. And hopefully there'll be like really good systems in place by that point where they'll be able to just auto detect it as like spam and just slap it on out of there and not even, you won't even really have to worry about it. But yeah, I mean, I can imagine it being a little bit jolting if you opened up your email, clicked on the first message that you see, like you're like, oh, I'm just going to check my email and boom, coworkers cock, like, or coworkers face on a naked dude. That's not even him, but it looks convincing. So yeah, I could imagine that becoming a real issue. But anyways, guys, yeah, I just wanted to touch on the subject a little bit. Thought it was really interesting, and I feel like it's only going to be getting worse from here. It's only going to, AI is only becoming a bigger thing. These companies show no sign of slowing down in the development of it. So I'm sure we have a lot to look forward to in, in, in that sector. But yeah, guys, uh, that's all I got. See ya.